Hello everyone, this is Jimson from Informatica Support. Today we are going to see how to stop a running task on IACS through REST API. Agenda, how to stop a running task on IACS through REST API. Demo, best practice, summary. So, to achieve our use case, we need to use a sequence of API calls. So initially we need to do a login v3 post method call to the particular pod where the particular task exists to get the base URL and session ID. You can also refer this particular diagram. First we are doing a login call getting the session ID and base URL. Why we are getting the base URL? To construct the next API which is a lookup API which needs this particular base URL and follow up it needs some particular method or else uh, URL to identify it as a lookup API. Once you are done with the login API we are good to go with the lookup API. In lookup API we will going to give the particular objects path and the type. So we can see more briefly in the coming demo and then finally once you are calling the lookup API it will give a federated ID and based on that federated ID you are passing that to a job stop API so with the session ID and federated ID we can able to stop the running task demo so for the demo purpose I have using a postman tool. First we are doing the login API call. Here you should give accept as application JSON and content type as application JSON in the header path. And then in raw body you need to pass the user and password and this is the request body so based on the login type URL this raw body can be changed once you have done in call you will get a response like this here you need to get the base URL and then the session ID for the following up API once you done with this particular uh, call then so here you can able to see we are giving an extra header previous compared to the previous login call which is session ID which is make this session valid and first it is get validated and then the API call is allowed then you need to give the body as the below so in the path you need to give the location where the particular asset is there so for example it is under a test directory test directory and you need to give the asset name and also you need to specify the asset type and don't forget to follow this format object array and the particular path and type. You can also give ID based on the requirement. So once you have done that the response would be like this. You will get the particular federated ID, location, type and the user updated and the time. So once you get this information we are good to move to the final step. So follow up to the lookup API we are going to use job stop API. So this is the base URL and this is the URL which help us to do a job stop. And we need to add IC session ID in the previous lookup infa session ID based on the version of the API it may vary. Once you give the session ID and then you need to give this particular request body. 
so once uh, you give the particular request body you can specify based on the use case here I am going to use task filtered ID from the previous uh, API call so I am giving the task filtered ID and uh, task type is MTT which is nothing but a mapping task the successful API call would be like this type success job was stopped by the user the login user which is used in the particular session ID to get the session ID okay once you have done with the particular job stop API the UI it will show like it is stopped this is a good sign because from this we can able to confirm in the boost API side in the UI side the task is stopped best practices always use the user who have privilege to stop the task then the job API is not supported to stop the advanced task flow if you have any further queries or you need to have more details on the particulars APIs and how to do the stop of a running job using rest you can refer the KB which is given below that's all for today's video we would love to hear from you you can reach us through our support video at informatica.com mail id or you can also comment us in our twitter handle infa support thank you